Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in MVC how to get display multiple selected value from checkbox list control. That's it. Let's check the results on the browser, Google Chrome. And here we got the final output of that code. Notice we got the checkbox list control and button control. Now I'm selecting some courses, MVC, Java and Bootstrap. I'm clicking the button and see here we got the results. Selected checkbox list items are MVC, Bootstrap and Java. If I unselect any of this checkbox control, see the course name MVC is gone. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new MVC project. Go to File, New Project. I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework is 4.6.1. The application name is Multiple Checkbox List Select. Click OK. And from the time that I'm choosing MVC4, click OK. And here the project is successfully created. Let me close this window. First in this project, I'm creating a class in the models folder. Open solution explorer. In the models folder, right click that one. Add class. The class name is checkbox class add now in this checkbox class I'm adding a public properties public int for this demo purpose I'm using the course example so I'm adding here course ID get and set public string the second property is a course name get set and the last property I am adding for the checkbox list is selected or not so I am using the boolean data type public bool is checked get set now in this class I am adding another class public class course list now in this class I am adding this checkbox class the collection of course names public list class I am using I am adding this checkbox class name courses get set now whatever the courses I am selecting from this checkbox classes I am adding to this course list class that's it now let's create a controller open solution explorer right click the controllers name add controller I am selecting MVC for controller empty add the controller name checkbox list add and here we got the controller also first in this controller I am adding the models class using I am adding my application name multiple checkbox list select dot models now in this action result index method here I am adding this list checkbox class copy this one paste here don't give any caps create the object ls is equals to new list checkbox I'm adding some items to this list class new checkbox class first one is a course ID which is one comma second one is a course name shop 
comma let's add the another item course id is 2 MVC the course ID for the third item is 3 bootstrap course ID 4 Java and the course ID 5th is Jquery. Let's close this here. Yeah, semicolon. Now, after adding the items to this list class, I'm binding this to this course list. Let's create an object. Course C list is equals to new course list. C list dot courses which is the which is a property name z equals to I'm adding this ls object and the return view is a c list course list object that's it we have created the checkbox list control with some items up to now we have added the course names to this checkbox list control. Now let's create a new index view page. Action result index. And this one is the HTTP post method. Return view. Now in this index method I am adding this course list course lists object name I am using string builder class to collection of the course names string builder the string builder class needs the using system dot text namespace now we can access a string builder class string builder here as b is equals to new string builder i'm adding for each loop variable item in in i'm adding this course listers object here dot the courses property this one if item dot is checked if the checkbox list item is selected as we dot append method item dot course name the selected checkbox list course names I'm adding to this string builder object plus if I select multiple I want to give gaps between these two courses names and the last one the return view is a course listers object I think we need one more curly braces above the return view I am adding view bag to display the selected checkbox list items checkbox messages is equals to selected checkbox list items or Plus, I'm adding the object as b, which is a string builder object dot 
two string method that's it we have done the complete coding part in the controller now we need the index view page but before creating the index view page we must build this application build build solution and here we got the message in the output box window build succeeded let me close this output message window highlight the index right click that one add view the view name is index only and the template I'm choosing empty the model class we have two classes one is the checkbox class another one is a course list class I'm selecting the course list add and here the index view page also is also added I'm changing the header tag get display multiple selected checkbox list items H3 using MVC horizontal line let me put this at using HTML dot begin form method now between this curly braces I'm adding for loop for in i is equals to 0 i less than model dot courses dot count property i plus plus at html dot checkbox for m model dot courses I'm adding the integer i here dot is check at model dot courses i dot I'm adding the course name at HTML dot hidden for M colon model dot courses I I'm adding the course ID and the second hidden for dot course name let's break here now after the for loop I'm adding a button control input type is equals to submit value is equals to get selected checkbox list items I'm closing the button control and the last one horizontal line I want to display the view back message this one selected items I'm putting this in the header tag h1 at view back dot check message that's it we have done the complete coding part we have created the classes the controller and the index view page now before run this application the most important we need to change uh, the controller name open solution explorer app underscore start expand that one route config.cs open that one and notice the controller name is a home I'm deleting the default home controller I'm adding my application controller name is a checkbox list And the action index view page is the index only which is this one that's it let's check the results on the browser Google Chrome and here we got the final output of that call notice we got the checkbox list control and button control 
Now I'm selecting some courses and we see Java and Bootstrap. I'm clicking the button and see here we got the results selected checkbox list items are MVC, Bootstrap and Java. If I unselect any of these checkbox control, see the course name MVC is gone. That's it.